Wait, so you guys said last episode was King Kai's last ever. Does that mean canonically he's just never alive again? But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster I Shinobi. We have episode 69 of our Super Watch today, and I know this is filler, and there's been a lot of conversation in the comment section of both Patreon and YouTube about what episodes I should watch. And I know that I think like six or seven out of the next 10 are filler, and I pretty much decided to just watch them through. Solely because, I mean, there's not a ton since the rest of the series is canon, and I mean, it's not like I'm in a hurry to catch up anyways since Super isn't going on right now. So let's just enjoy the ride that they've set out for us. No idea what we're in store for. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's hop into it. Okay, what is the start of this? Oh, cool. I was just about to ask, a crossover with what? Oh, wait, is this a scroll from OG Dragon Ball? Oh, Raleigh. So this is a crossover with her? But if she's from this show, how is it a crossover with its own show? Or is she like a spinoff? Or is this just a bit? Am I asking too many questions? Probably. I like her hat. It's very adorable. Why does he speak like an old timey? Or is that like where this takes place? Okay. Let's see how much I can decipher from just not even Goku knowing who Apollo this is or her place in the world at all. Spells the end of the earth. Coming to you live from the annual World Inventors, world Awards. Inventors Awards. Oh, is that where that guy's going, Doc? <laughs> Mr. Satan! What is blood inventing, bro? Ain't no way. Okay, he's presenting. Makes sense. Talented tinkerers have been nominated. Talented tinkerers. Is a Raleigh like this does she invent? She kind of gives me the vibes. Why is Vegeta? Oh, look at Trunks! Wait, why? Oh, I guess Bulma. It makes sense that Bulma would have something here. He's in a suit. Bro looks so clean. From inventing stuff. He's got the right heart. I wonder what Bulma submitted. Oh man, having a day job. Go on, slicked back hair. That's Goku! Oh my god, that was Gohan! I even heard his voice! Wait, if he's not guarding the door, who's gonna stop people from coming in? So is a, does Arale end up here somehow? Oh. Oh shoot, he won! Wait, he beat Bulma? Oh dang. I wanna know what Bulma submitted though. What did he submit to beat Bulma? I am Senbei Noromaki. Senbei oh, Noromaki. So Dr. Slump. The reality machine number two. Ta -da! Is hey that... There, can I get a round of applause? What the hell? It speaks! What even is that? A pot? There's nothing inside. Nothing at all. Why do I feel like he's a con man? Early prediction. Wait, this is totally... A... Is it juicing? What? Well, impressed. Good God! The fact that the girly magazine you're holding was created Just appeared out of nothing. nothing. Why is that thing wearing sandals? Is it alive? Because this is Oolong incarnate. You die for that? But well, what if you're willing to die for something that isn't like a, just a tangible object? Is this guy sneaking through a vent? What is happening? A Mr. Satan keychain! Maybe he's not a scammer. Maybe I, I jumped a gun. Oh, drama! Oh. In the original Dr. Slump comic, you died. What? What are you talking about? Is that real life? He's a ghost. I escaped from the home for infinite losers just to get my vengeance. Home for infinite losers? Oh, and there's a Raleigh. What is the Gotchens? Yeah, who are these that follow her? Little angels? Want to play? So you drugged this child? What does convert even mean? I'm disturbed. <laughs> of course, Mr. Satan is offended. How'd you like to play with me, famous Mr. Satan? This is so bizarre. What, what just everything's happening? It feels like a Futurama episode. I don't know how to explain it. She's already been. Oh my God! She's like a child. I'm guessing like no older than like six. Wait, is she this strong because of the like the juice she was given or what? 
They're tearing the building down. And Vegeta, Trunks, and Bulma are just sitting there still. Muscles. This is all because Goku left, bro. Another brat raised without discipline. <laughs> My Trunks would never. Does Vegeta lose this fight, bro? Tell me it ain't so. Are you okay with this? Okay with what? Him fighting his child? I mean, she called him Doc. Maybe he just raises her. Where are her parents? Oh my god, Goku. Buddy. Oh. Brother! Vegeta! What did you do <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, dude. So that's her canon, is that she's from an early 80s manga. Each other? Oh, from original Dragon Ball? Not gonna clobber an adorable kid. <laughs> my way, Kakarot. Vegeta wants his revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing Vegeta knock a chop. How does she circle the earth so fast? Did she go all the way around the earth? Be a gag manga character. So <laughs> yeah, rules don't apply. Wait, this is so beautiful. He has to play her game. If it doesn't make sense, he has to play into that. Wait, I'm so glad I didn't skip this. This is amazing. What? What he decapitated a child? Oh, wait, there's wires. Is she like an android? Oh. Did the earth actually just split? <laughs> Wait, six is split the earth! Oh my god, this is amazing. Nothing makes sense. Vegeta, you lose! This is incredible. The strongest character. She solos Grand Zeno, I think. The laws of nature don't apply. She just got rid of Vegeta like it was nothing. She should have been there for Goku Black, man, and Zamasu. What the heck, man? So they met when he was younger? Did they meet in OG Dragon Ball? They're actually gonna fight, man. Now I want to go back and see, like, the context of her and OG. This must have been really cool for people that watched wherever she was in OG Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball for her to come back. She's a hyper beam! A beam clash! Goku's strongest opponent yet! A child! Dude, I know Dragon Ball power scaling is so like out of whack, but this shows that it could get worse if they wanted to. Let's see what happens. It's just a child! That's why it was called the end of the world. I mean, at least she's having fun and she's not evil. Oh, wait, we Beerus? There we go. Lord Beerus, the destroyer, to destroy Arale. I'm afraid your timing couldn't be worse. He's just put been put down for his nap. Can't even get the divine intervention here, man. That's tough. Did Mr. Satan's run? Let's get this ghost to tell her to stop, man. Oh, or the juice will run out eventually. So are we gonna get the question answered on this reality machine if it's real or not? Or if it's a scam? It does speak! What the hell? Maybe it is real. Hoop distracts her? She has a child. You're the world champ. Kid Trunks is gonna have to do it. They're gonna beam clash again. I'm ready. I'm ready! It's just on a stick. Goku's so disappointed. What the heck's going on here? <laughs> as soon as she loses in that pile of all still be Just poop. keep making poop. Maybe she'll get uh, run out of the juice. Why does he sound so normal? A gun to shoot this child. Is this for the child or to try to still convince Whis to come? Wait, this like reality machine is going to become overloaded. What is just gonna combust. Oh no. She's bored. Yes! Buddy is going to explode. I don't know. Is it gonna be like a uh, cloudy with a chance of meatballs where it just turns this entire place into a food world? That would keep her distracted for a long while. Uh it's just a ball. It combined all the flavor into one thing. No way. He's gonna smell it. Oh, there's Beerus. <laughs> oh my god. I don't believe I've 
I've ever traveled quite so quickly to get here. <laughs> that has to taste divine, bro. Nothing else they could feed him will ever like live up to this. Hey, you there. Yes, you in the oversized genie pants. Oh. I'm the star of this episode. Bye. <laughs> Wait, what's it called again? Hakai? Let's go. Dude, yeah, that's gonna set the bar way too high, though. That's not canon. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what if he actually destroys her? Bro, his face! No, when he actually kills her. Rolly, run! <laughs> oh, we actually listened to him. We're leaving. But, sir. Get me back home, we snap. His stomach. Okay, never mind. The bar is not too high. Trying to hold it in. <laughs> but he's got to run to the litter box. Too many exotic cuisines from around the world mixed together, yep. causing a chemical reaction, yep. perhaps? It honestly does make sense. It's that beautiful. Or maybe it's because nobody bothered to clean that machine after it just finished making a poop. Actually true. Oh, my God. Sorry about leaving this place in such disarray. <laughs> what was I this feel episode, <laughs> bro? Fix this mess up with my eyes closed. They got you stomped by a child. I guess she is a robot. They didn't even sure? say android. They said robot. Hey, we'll have to spar again sometime, okay? <laughs> okay. Tell me she comes back, bro. <laughs> Why did I actually <laughs> like that character? Come on, Trunks. Let's go home. She's yep, been inspired. Mom. Are you forgetting something? Huh? Oh, my God. I am never fighting someone from an 80s <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is how you do a filler episode because it takes characters where you've already established how strong they are and it does whatever it wants with them because it, the consequences of the episode don't matter. Beerus coming down and obliterating someone doesn't matter. Goku and Vegeta losing a fight, it's just like, it's perfect because Goku and Vegeta losing a fight will not happen that often unless there is an opponent that is very, very strong. One that will have consequences for a long period of time, several episodes at the very least. So whenever you have the, the free reign to do whatever you want, one, you gotta do stuff like that. And again, I gotta find out more about Arale as a character, but bringing someone from old episode, old, older episodes back and working them in is just kind of like a cherry on top. But I'm curious to know what you guys thought of this episode because I, like I said, I know a lot of people are split on filler and not filler. And I'm interested to see what else we have in store for the next several. Because I actually did enjoy that quite a bit. It's usually the standalone fillers that are more enjoyable. Whenever they drag stuff out, it, it can get a little bit wishy-washy. Guys, that's been it for episode 69 of our Dragon Ball Super Watch. Do drop a Sub on the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.